So, uh, I finally found the most common damage or, or water damage that is being uh, caused on this uh, Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean board. Uh, and I'm going to show it uh, in this video to you. The, the, uh, or how, how to find, how to diagnose it. Uh, I can't show you the repair uh, uh, still, still, uh, because my microscope is uh, has a crappy uh, camera and um, it doesn't show very well. Um, yeah, one thing to that I need to warn you, uh, so to say, is that you do need a microscope or or some um, some some magnification uh, as the repair is very delicate. So, uh, the most common cause, uh, when you get water damage from the upper seal, uh, water gets into the insides and gets to the electronics, but uh, funny thing, it doesn't uh, damage the components, it damages the PCB itself. And um, as I showed in the previous video, uh, where I showed you how to repair this button, or to, yeah, uh, if, if the button is okay, you check these two terminals with the continuity tester and press the button. If you have continuity, then the button is okay, but you have a broken uh, PCB trace that you can repair uh, by soldering a wire from here to to, to this test point, as it was shown in the previous video. Um, yeah, but um, this uh, yeah, goes to the cases when you don't have any life on the board uh, whatsoever, or, or let's say very minimal uh, life uh, signs. Uh, let's say when you connect a battery, sometimes you get a small uh, blinking of the LEDs. I'm not, not sure if the camera can pick it up, but it some sometimes it blinks a little bit, sometimes it doesn't blink at all. All the LEDs blink for one time, and that's it. When you press the button and so on, uh, it could be uh, when you have the uh, whole toothbrush and you press the button and it just blinks and then doesn't uh, uh, turn on at all. So um, in these cases, or what I found in many cases I fixed these four boards these uh, will I think will have uh, the same uh, damage of course it's not of course it's not always in, in water damage you could have uh, other uh, traces that are damaged but um, as I, as I said it's usually th this fix should should fix it so uh, what we have is um, we have a again we have a broken uh, PCB trace and you have to uh, get your um, uh, multimeter into the continuity mode and check these nice test points here okay I'll, this this is the repaired one this is the broken one yeah so you have a nice four test points that are connected with these through holes i'll try to go a little bit closer so uh, this hole is connected with this test point, this hole is connected with this point, this hole is connected with this point, and this one is with this point. And it's uh, the control, uh, I think it's a control uh, loop or, or control trace uh, that uh, the controller sends the uh, control signal to the MOSFET to turn on the power and so on. So, um, and what you have is these through holes, they are connecting uh, this side PCB traces to this side PCB traces, as you can see. Here are, this is the hole, and the trace goes into this hole, then again it jumps out in this side and goes to the trace up to the microcontroller. And what happens when you get water inside these holes, it corrodes and, and it eats out the copper or, or whatever the metal it is. Uh, and in this true hole, it corrodes and you don't have a continuity, you don't have a signal going through, through this trace. So what you need to do is first, of course, you have to check which of these traces are bad. And then you have to get a small, very small wire, go through this hole you can solder on the test point that's a very nice big spot where you can solder one point go through the hole on this side you have to remove the 
protective uh, coating of the of the trays and solder the this this one small thin wire onto the trace itself as it was done in this case and on this board let's say you can see it is soldered on here here it had a here i think even in here so there there could be a lot of uh, places where the wire broke off yeah here is the place where it was the, i removed the protective coating and soldered the wire and it goes out into the this test point so and how to check it to check it you take the board go into continuity mode and you go with the points you take this test point and i think this test point will okay yeah yeah this uh, so some test points have uh or i found uh end or, or another point on the board or and i think this only this one is uh it's almost directly in in on the board on the chip itself but okay let's i'll show it all, all the points to you so you take um, this point and this is the point where you should check it's the from the three points the upper middle one this is okay uh, it's very unlikely that from this point you would have a broken trace somewhere here then we get to this point and we check this side okay this is good between two test points there is a small through hole if it goes if the signal is there it means this part is okay then we go to the this uh, testing point and we check this test point uh, it's not test point but through hole so there are one two three the uh, first one at the r1 is the uh, sig signal uh, is it the, from the button the trace that comes from the button uh, the first one and you, or let's say the third one how do you count it okay from the r1 resistor first test point is the button uh, point if you don't have a continuity here it means that this trace is broken too and you need to uh, repair the trace too and um, what is it yes yes and uh, this point is at the one two three third hole you can do it simpler you can take the point and just go through all the legs nothing and here if you remember we here we had this point yeah if we go through all the legs we found find somewhere in the middle here we find uh, that it has continuity between this test point and this uh, legs and here is the same here we found uh, it is okay and from this point we don't have but let's say why you need to go through these holes is because especially with this this test point that you, as i found is all the most commonly affected uh, trace is it has one through hole in here one through hole here and then it goes somewhere to the trace so usually it, it could be not only in this uh, place it could be a broken trace but even in here too so you need to remove the protective uh, coating here uh, solder a wire and when you rotate it again on this side you have to connect the wire one more time so yeah and that's all what is to to this to this uh, water damage thing yeah the, the weak part is the very thin and small pcb traces and especially through through board holes that connect uh, uh, wires or, or traces on both sides and if you repair it uh, repair these traces as with these boards there was again a lot of uh, traces that needed to be repaired you get uh, or then then you can try it out by connecting the positive and neg negative of the battery positive is the, uh, the upper side negative and the lower side 
and it starts working. These boards were, as these ones, not responsive at all, uh, didn't show any signs of life. When I reconnected the traces, everything went back to working condition. Yeah, I said it's not always like this. It could be that there are MOSFETs, uh, shorted out MOSFETs. Uh, there could be a shorted out uh, fuses. You should always check the fuse itself. If it is good or, or no. Uh, they could be replaced. I think I have some that I already replaced. They are not exactly the same size I found, but a, li a little bit bigger, but it's possible to connect it. Uh, but again, for these works, you need either a microscope or 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 some magnification uh, to, to 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 see what you are doing because it's very you need to take a sharp uh, scalper and you need to remove only coating from only this trace uh, and not let's say from uh, sides where usually you have a ground or or neighboring trace. As you can see, there is a lot of traces. Let's see if it will focus in. Yeah. A lot of traces. And if you will not see what are you doing, you will probably damage the board beyond repair. Or it's always possible to repair, but it will be much, much more difficult to repair it if you don't see what you are doing. Okay, yeah, that's, that's it for this time. Um, let me know if you would like to see a video of this uh, repair being performed. I will. I hope I will get a, in in the near future a better camera and can uh, film the repair being performed. And yeah, if if you have some comments, uh, uh, leave a leave a comment. I'll, I always try to respond to to them and and give a hint or or a few. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, and till next time.